G'day guys, welcome back to True Footy, continuing our series of doing individual videos on draft prospects ahead of the 2024 draft. If you want to have a look at any other players I've done in this series, click in the top right corner. I'll leave a link to the playlist where I've probably got like 15 or so names in there now. And today we're doing Murphy Reed, who is an interesting one in that he is possibly the most divisive player in terms of where he's being ranked. So we're going to get into who he is as a player, his strengths and weaknesses, and ultimately where he might go in this year's draft because there's some really interesting differing opinions on this. So Murphy is a 180 centimeter sort of midfielder forward out of Vic Metro. While he's got a bit more of a smaller frame, I'll describe him as a very classy Pendlebury-esque player. Let's qualify what I mean by that because the Pendlebury comparison almost gets thrown out so much that it's become cliche, but I do think there's some applicability here. We're talking about a player that just sort of plays at his own tempo, at his own pace, and even though he's not athletically blessed, seems to always you know, find the time to make the right decision. So he may not have the athletic profile, but he's got the class and the fact that he just performs at junior level so well, which has thrown him as a genuine potential top 10 contender. Again, we'll get into his range. It was a really strong year of performance this year. He won Vic Metro's MVP award. He made the All-Australian team with a really strong handful of performances in the carnival and also some really good performances in finals for Sandring. So we've got another player here who steps up to the level required. In a wildcard game this year, he had three goals and 32 possessions against the Jets. And then against the Calder Cannons in the qualifying final, had three goals and 25 possessions. So it's always becoming common for Murphy Reed to put up numbers of 20 plus possessions and also hit the scoreboard multiple times. I particularly remember a game against South Australia for Vic Metro this year where he had 31 possessions and floated forward and kicked three goals as well. So his ability to hit the scoreboard as a guy who wins so much of the footy is excellent. Like I said, he's not the tallest or the quickest, but he's got insane composure and always makes the right decisions in traffic. You've also got a midfield prospect here who has genuine forward craft. So whether it be kicking goals out of a stopping situation up forward, you give them that opportunity around goal, his goal sense means that he can quite often hit the scoreboard in clumps. Yes, clumps. So unfortunately, like the biggest concern around Murphy Reed might just be that, you know, we probably didn't expect him to test too well at the combine. Well, unfortunately, an ankle injury suffered in the Coach Sound League Grand Final meant that he didn't test at the combine at all. So without that data, it'll be interesting to see if it impacts his draft ranking in what is a pretty even draft pool. So to summarize his strengths and weaknesses, you know, we've, we've talked about his poise, his composure, he's just classy, his decision making is a strength, he's got really good hands as well, both in terms of being clean and also hitting targets. I think his consistency and his ability to produce regularly and do that in big games all really serve him well. And then of course the scoreboard impact, and it's not so common that a player who can win plenty of the footy in the midfield can float forward and hit the scoreboard regularly. And whilst he might not be rapid over 20 meters or anything like that, he's mentally quick if that makes sense. So his ability to make quick decisions, assess the space around him and get the ball off to somebody in a better position, he's quite consistent at that. Well, what are his weaknesses? Well, they're pretty much about the physical aspects of his game. His athletic profile, even though we don't have any clear numbers on his testing. He's clearly not an explosively quick athlete. He's not extremely slow. And over the course of the season, we saw a little bit more run and carry, but he's not a very much a high meters gained kind of player. And that size as well makes it a little bit tough to forecast whether he's gonna be a true midfielder at AFL level, those two things combined. So is he primarily gonna be a forward or a high half forward at the next level who rotates on ball or is he a primary midfielder? Because that is relevant when forecasting where he will get drafted. Usually clubs won't take a player in the top 10 who is unlikely to be able to play midfield at the next level. The other knock on Murphy might just be a lack of defensive intent. He's certainly not strong as being a defensive two-way runner. Some of this is athletic, you know, it's a little bit harder for him to keep up on some of the other quicker midfielders and he needs to be complimented by some good defensively minded teammates to be able to shine. But he's really good with the ball in hand, but his chasing, his transition work, his ability to tackle could probably all use some improvement. So let's get into his draft range, which is uh, quite interesting. So Cal Toomey put him at six in his last phantom form guard, which is not a mock draft, it's just a ranking. He ranks him as the sixth best prospect in this year's draft. By contrast, the age has him going at pick 20. So the age is an interesting one where I'd imagine Toomey does this as well, but they consult recruiters and try and get a bit of a consensus of what the feel is of players. And the age had this to say. They said, this mass head, being the age, has consistently ranked Reed lower than other outlets based off recruiters' concerns, including but not limited to his lack of size and speed. They speak glowingly about his football brain, class, and how good he was at all levels. Some scouts think Reed will make his living more outside the center square 
square at half forward, whereas others rate him as a top 10 talent and believe he can be a midfielder at AFL level. There is another group who view his draft range as closer to being 12 to 15, and non-Victorian clubs are wary he might want to remain in Melbourne. So there you go. It seems like there is a little bit of division about what people think about Murphy Reed, and that all comes into projecting where he's going to go in the draft. Now, he could still go early because it only takes one club to really rate him quite early to take him. But you know, I don't think there is a real locked-in consensus about where Murphy Reed is going to go in this draft as well. When you consider that non-Victorian clubs here, according to the age, will be wary about his desire to remain in Melbourne. Well, after Richmond's pick 14, you've got West Coast, Port Adelaide, GWS, Fremantle, and Sydney. I think taking like the five next picks in this year's draft. So then you've got the Bulldogs at pick 20. So that would justify why they have got him going as late as pick 20. If Victorian clubs picked in that range, maybe he'd go a little bit earlier. But that's just what the age thinks. Fox Footy says, Reed is likely to come into the draft mix from Richmond's pick six onwards with St Kilda and Melbourne to consider him too, presumably with their second selections in my opinion. Some rival clubs though wouldn't be surprised if he slipped in the teens. ESPN, then has him going at pick 11 to Melbourne. So it's a hard one to know exactly where he's going to go. I've done a number of mock drafts on this channel throughout the course of the year, really. And a few people have picked up that I have Murphy going a little bit later. So to summarize it, I'd be surprised if he's going as early as one of St. Kilda's or Melbourne's picks. And while it would be a little bit odd to see him going in the 20s and later, like I said, if there is belief that he might be a flight risk or, or something like that, well, you've got like five non-Victorian selections in the draft in a row, which might influence his ranking. But there's no doubt he's a good footballer it just remains to be seen where he plays at AFL level which like I said will influence where he gets picked up but let me know in the comments what you think of Murphy as a prospect guys do you want your club to draft him as always I appreciate you watching I appreciate being subscribed and I'll see you in the next one cheers